Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're going to take a look at the Scepter 27-inch monitor, which is a 1440p monitor, as well as a 144 refresh rate monitor, as well as an IPS monitor, a 1 millisecond response time monitor, and this will be my main gaming monitor, so let's see what comes in it and how it looks. This is my first time unboxing it, so whatever you see, I'm seeing for the first time as well. While I'm taking this whole thing out, keep in mind that this does have built-in speakers as well. Uh, but if you want my honest opinion, don't use the built-in speakers. I mean, they're usually, usually they're not that good. I mean, if you need audio, they have audio, but I highly recommend even getting like some like cheap $20 Amazon, um, cheap $20 Amazon speakers will be better than these hundred percent, but length, width, big. I like it. It's perfectly exactly what I was looking for bezels aren't really um, too big at all. I mean, the bottom one, I kind of expected it to be somewhat large, but as for the actual back, let's see, flip it over real quick. All right, so it's able, it's good for Visa mounting as well. We have our HDMI ports. It looks like we have two HDMI 1.4s, one HDMI 2.0, and a display port, which is a 1.2. We also have an audio jack as well as our DCN, that's our power supply. Over on the left side, we also have our little power supply. We have our, looks like a menu. Not sure what E stands for. I'll figure it out later. Let me over up and down arrows for, you know, navigating. And yeah, it looks good. So we will get everything else unpacked, put it on the stand and see what it ends up looking like. So everything else that is in the box. Looks like we got part of our stand, part of our stand. We have our power supply. Oh, this is our DC in. Or maybe not. Maybe that's our power supply. No, no DCN. That's our power supply. What's in this bag, though? I didn't know it included anything else. Okay, lots of stuff. Uh, first, our user manual. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's take this out of the bag first. Get our stand. Let's set up the stand real quick first. And I don't know why companies still opt for red bases. I don't like that at all. I wish I could take it off. Can I take it off? Let's see. Uh, I don't, I, I still don't get why companies add any, any kind of red. I don't see the, the point in it. Why not just keep all the colors neutral? I actually think I can remove this too. But yeah, why not keep all the colors neutral so it works in everybody's favor? You just keep everything black. So I am going to be removing it just because I don't want any red. So you can't remove that fine. Everything's all still sturdy. So that actually makes me feel a bit better. So we can actually put this back in now. Stand is all connected. Let's turn it around, see what we're looking like. So this is what it looks like in all its glory. It is a bit high. I mean, for me, it's about perfect, but can tilt up, can tilt down, can rotate, can rotate. I'm sure if you, yeah, if you tilt it up and rotate it, you can actually get it perfectly vertical. So if you want a vertical monitor, keep it perfectly set like that, no worries. And yeah, it looks very good. So you can see now just how big it can be if it's um, set up vertical. I mean, I don't know the exact dimensions, but we can tilt it up, change the rotation. And now it's back to normal. Tilt down, up, side to side. If you wanted a 45 degree, angle monitor, you have a 45 degree angle monitor. So, so far so good. I'm liking how it looks. Stand wise, if you're, sh if you're a bit short of a person, I mean, I think it's fine. I mean, it's a bit taller than what I normally see these stands. So update, you know how I was saying how I thought it was a bit tall. Yeah, I didn't realize you could just, and it's a lot lower, so. That's at the lowest and I literally just, Go over here and literally just push it up like i don't have to press anything i just push it up and it's right back there so we have the monitor all set up now let's see what it looks like in the setup so because we're mounted and not on the stand that means we will need a visa mount which is what i have right here as, as well as the screws but normally this wouldn't be able to obviously fit in that little square so that's exactly what those little standoff screws are for so you just plug those in 
or screw those in to each side. And then obviously now you can line up your visa mount to be all set to go. And keep in mind that this monitor is gonna be going into this setup. I'm gonna have that monitor on the right, that monitor on the left. Sadly, just because it is a triple monitor mount, I'm not gonna be having the monitor stand um, in the setup because I'm gonna you know, hook it up to the actual mount in the middle over there. So we'll see what it looks like in three, two, one. So this is the end result of hooking up our main monitor. This scepter monitor is our main uh, our main monitor, basically. All I know, I say that as I have those icons down there, but that's just because I like the icons at the bottom and I like having this as the full on just the screen. So if I, let's just say if I open a Google Chrome tab, slide that up there, plenty of viewing area. I know this is like, I've already done it, but using Premiere Pro on this top monitor or this main monitor has been life-changing.